What up, guys? Step into my office. What's up, beautiful people? Pedro DoorDash Santiago back at you with another daily vlog. I do DoorDash and Uber, Uber Eats, Rideshare in the St. Louis market, working towards my dream of having my own small business delivery company, helping other small local businesses. Listen, this channel is about betting on you, setting goals, doing it one day at a time. So if you're in gig economy, if you're somebody that likes motivation and positive vibes, this channel's for you. Let's just subscribe. For all my subs out there and loyal people in the comments and asking questions, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. This footage is from Wednesday's Dash. Little uh, lunchtime, late afternoon, a little bit of dinner. Let's get right into it. You guys are amazing. Listen, give me a thumbs up. See if we can get 300 thumbs up on this. See you guys later. What's up, guys? All right, so a little late start today. It's 11.17. It is Wednesday. And I had lunch with a brunch with a friend, and now I'm hitting the streets. Let's see what we got. Walmart. I don't do Walmart. But anyway, so don't forget, bet on you, set goals one day at a time. In this video, I want you guys to really comment with me. What are your goals? If we can keep it, I would really like for you to share my your goals with me, guys, and, and share them with the other community members, right? And let's let's talk that stuff into existence. What's your short-term goal and maybe one long-term goal? Put it in the comments. Hit that thumbs up. Let's go on today's journey. All right, we just did our first drop off. It was eight bucks, a little more miles. It was 5.7, but I was really close to the Chick fil A. Chick fil A in my market, as you guys know, is the fastest merchant in all of St. Louis. And then also, a lot of it was highway miles, and it left me in my still in my south area. So I just handed it to the lady. Let's go get order number two. Let's do some dissection. <laughs> Old St. Louis chop suey in my market, they're quick. Pet smart. You want me to pick up some dog food, some cat litter, and some regular food? 11.25, 7.4 miles, four items combined. These merchants are literally across the street, one plaza, one plaza. These drop-offs are too far. It's leaving me in a good zone to get another order, but I don't, I just, I'm not feeling, I'm just not feeling that. It's too far. PetSmart, I just, I'm not gonna try it yet. I do wanna try PetSmart if I wind up getting one that the miles aren't that bad. I'm gonna test it, but a lot of them, it seems like they're seven miles plus, so that's enough. All right, guys, I was on the phone, but we got a $6 order, VP Square, 1.3 miles. Got no peak pay, no nothing going on, $3. Tip, super slow. I turned the Uber on, and I got the VP Square, accepted it, and then the Uber went off for a ride share, so I had to not accept that one. Let's go get this money. I'll take you guys in there with me. All right, that's seven, that six turned into seven. What do we got? Rallies, three dollars. Kobe Bryant. Woo! Story time. So let me just share this with you guys. I, I I talk about getting two apps, and I believe it. I am. I have. I'm at the blue status of Uber. I used to be Diamond and Platinum, where you can see the direction of where you're going before you accept. With the blues, like the first tier, you can't. All you see is how long it's going to take you and how many miles to get to the person. I am in the middle of nowhere. East St. Louis. This is my surroundings. Do you guys see that? This is where I am. I do not want to be out here. Uh, I'm. I am way out of way out of my area. But I didn't know that when I did the trip. I do not recommend the Blue Status program of Uber Rideshare. You have no way of knowing where it's going. Right now, if I keep this on, I, I could go three hours north of here and be completely screwed for the rest of my day. Now, that would make a lot of money, but who wants to be that far? I'm sharing you guys, I'm sharing everything with you guys. I'm in the middle of nowhere and I'm not happy about it. All right. <laughs> Look at how far I am from my zone. You guys see the blue dot? That's where I am. There's, I can't even do the DoorDash out here. Let me zoom in a little closer. So, that's how far I, I mean <laughs> but full transparency i made 15 dollars on doordash 75 on uber i'm at 90 bucks i started at 11 15 it's 240 so the money's not bad 
And if I do one more trip, they're gonna throw me another like $13 for some kind of consecutive trip thing. So I'm hoping to catch one on the, bay, on the way south, but uh, I keep going a little bit north. So it is what it is, but I wanna show you guys that if I'm a dash route and I'm in uh, O'Fallon, I can't even dash right now, I gotta schedule something. So I think that's what you guys see sometimes in your market. All right, guys, dinner time, 4.14, done with the Uber. Made good money, but I'm done. DoorDash time, let's dissect. Oh, Lord. All right, what pops out of you? Where's that belong? Look at that. There's two things wrong with this. No tip at all. 11 miles, Kobe. All right, guys, so a loyal subscriber sent me a link or an email about the Dasher Council. I signed up for it today, or I applied. You have to apply, and you have to give reasons why you think and what region you work in and how often and uh, why you would be a good fit for the council. I think I would be a great fit. Thank you for sending me that, Brandon. And uh, if I get on there, my, my thing is really to be a voice for the people. So in this video, let me know what are the issues that we think we can solve. And I want you guys to really think about it. So that if I make it on this council, I, I could help, try to help be a voice for you guys, okay? I know what some of the ones I, I, I think could really be quick fixes and, and I think it has to, we have to take this into consideration. It has to help the customer. That's what DoorDash is gonna think of first. It has to help them, DoorDash, and then help us. These things should, should be a trifecta. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. All right, guys, we're picking up an order. Seven bucks, three miles. It's 420, so... <laughs> it's 420. So, uh, not, not quite dinner time. The drop-off still leaves me in a good spot. So, I'm like, let me just knock this out, get the ball rolling. Um, sometimes, if it's not peak time, I, I'll stretch my limits of miles. I might add a mile or so to it because it's not quite busy yet. If this was an order at six, I'd probably say no. But I want to I wanna, um, talk to you guys about something real quick. I want to challenge you guys. If you don't have the DoorDash app, the customer app, where you can order food, some of you might have it, you should have it. Download it, I recommend downloading it. And sometimes when I'm when it's slow, or if it's busy, or before a shift, <clears throat> before I'm on a dash, I'll look at that app to see other promos. And if you have the app, you get promos. Like I know I get like alerts sometimes. Not every day, but sometimes. Are there promos? What's the delivery charge? Like what areas? Sometimes it'll even say like, you know, restaurant not available more information you have the better um, and if you can look at that app and use it as a tool to know maybe where to go or where not to go um, it, it's helped me a couple times I don't use it every day but I would download that app not necessarily to get food but use it as a tool so you see what the customers are looking at and it could be helpful for you All right, guys, let's confirm. I think this seven is gonna be eight bucks. I don't know, I could be wrong. Whoa, $10, make you holla. Yes, sir, let's go. All right, guys, quick update. So I'm at 150 bucks, 449, started at 11.15. Put more miles on my car than I wanted to because of the ride share, but I had some really far trips, good money though, Really, one good really tip, one really good tip. I should be able to be done by seven, what time is it, five? By seven o'clock and make 200 bucks, let's go. Four fifty, six point something Chick Fil A. Like the merchant, don't like the mile. I don't like the payout. Kobe, just a reminder: check your peak pay before you dash. Your peak pay before you dash, and check it. You know, if you're dashing before five, check it after five. Sometimes they add them. Check it again at six. Hit the little square. Hit that top button there, and it will tell you. Oh my God! Come on. It'll show you if there's a peak pay or not show you click on it oh and there's a peak pay it'll pop up on the top of your screen it'll say plus a dollar plus 150 plus 250 plus three dollars check on that check on that let's pull over and dissect this order shall we looks like a good spot let's do this safely so another stacked offer i got plenty of time okay this is a good one to dissect this is the, the, the this is what i'm talking about with doordash okay i'm the blue dot I'm close to both. I'm pretty close to both of these merchants, okay? But let me show you something. 
The merchants are both close to the other, down the street. You see that, right? The first house is literally probably point, I would say that's point four of a mile, not even. That order should be by itself. That's probably the one that tipped. Look at how far the other one is, all the way downtown. So 8.6 miles, about a mile and a half to get there. I would say six miles of this, I was on that trash order, North County, downtown, wherever. 13 bucks, two orders, six items, jack in a box, hook and reel. That is a no for me because that is just, no, no, it's ridiculous. Why they would even put those together is beyond me. I, I can't, With the, when I see something like this, it makes me want to throw up in my mouth. Okay, this is, a, I like them when they make sense because okay, two merchants, five dollars, DoorDash, what are you doing, DoorDash, what are you doing? Five bucks, two merchants, 7-Eleven, noodles and coke, 9.4 miles. So for many reasons that's, but this is going to, let's zoom in, I wanna show you guys. You can see the house, but if you zoom, if you zoom just like this, zoom with your finger, okay? You can see exactly where it's going. Is it a house, is it an apartment? This is going to Mudman Studios. That is an apartment building. No tip, no trip, miserable human being. You want me to go to two stores for you and you're not giving me not even $1 as a tip. That is a Kobe Bryant order if I've ever seen one. Just a reminder, put in the comment section of this video, please, what are a couple, one or two or three items you think DoorDash needs to fix that will help the customer, us, and them? Let, put them down below. Man. I My jump shot, my trash can Kobe jump shot is going to be unparalleled. 11 miles. I think this is a Quidoba. Okay, I'm close to the Quidoba. I can jog to the Quidoba. I can't hit it with a rock, but it's up the street, okay? But look at how far. There's actually another Quidoba closer to that customer's house. Makes no sense at why they would dispatch it there. It, it, it's no logical sense at all. Decline all day. They tipped, which is cool, but the customer shouldn't be at fault for tipping because they picked a far, it just doesn't make sense. Like these are the little details that we need to fix. DoorDash needs to fix and figure out so that A, the customer doesn't get upset. Hey, I just put in, let's say for a three or $4 tip, why did my food take an hour? Why didn't nobody pick it up? Well, because the proximity of the restaurant you delivered, you want to get your food from, is too far for most drivers. They need to know that information. The customer should know that. I got a Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. Gotcha. Order was ready, as expected. Let's go. All right, guys, let's chat. Pro tip. I did this maybe about a month and a half in. I literally got a little piece of notebook. Like I had a notebook. I was I'd write notes about good merchants, bad merchants, and then I just started memorizing like where I what was good, what was bad. And then I actually broke down for lunchtime, this is my mile range. Like this is my max I'll go for lunch if I'm in this zone. Midday, I expanded a little bit because there's less offers. Dinner, it goes down a little bit because I'll get more offers and I, I dash in a very small area, okay? Very small radius. I would challenge you guys to do the same thing. Know your market. Maybe your radius is two miles, three miles, five miles, seven miles. It depends on your market, okay? Is it rural? Is it urban like mine? Are the restaurants close to neighborhoods? It all, you have to know your market, okay? So my three miles might not be conducive to what's gonna work for you, but set some parameters for yourself, okay? And, and try it for a week or two. See if that parameter, see if you can make money doing that. And then if you can't, maybe you gotta add a half mile, add a mile. Maybe if you feel like your expenses are too high and you're driving too much, subtract a mile. If you do 20 deliveries a day and you're full-time, if you're part-time, you do 10 deliveries a day, if you subtract a mile on each delivery that you'll take, that's 10 or 20 miles. That will add up over the course of a week, over the course of a month. You're talking money, money, money. Try to break it down. Be analytical with what you're willing to take. Chart it for a little while, and then you'll start remembering. Let's see what we got, guys. I actually get excited when I do. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, 
things like, like a good part of my day like ooh, see if I was accurate testing my spotty skills my Jedi mind tricks I always like to show you guys first so you know that this is real life in the moment $25 to $14. I think I was pretty much spot on. Let's go. My energy's up. So we made $24 in one hour. It's been exactly an hour. Not great for dinner, but I've only done two orders. Haven't driven that much. Let's go. All right, I want to show you something I've been noticing in the last, about a month. There's a Chipotle. They're going to build a Chipotle right there. How they're going to find people to work there is beyond me. I'll probably stay away from picking up orders there because A, it's Chipotle, they're busy. B, I don't know how they're going to get staff. <laughs> 13 miles. This is, that person can't get their food. How is that possible? That somebody's going to drive 13 miles, 26 round trip if you don't live in that area, for $5.50. This is the information DoorDash needs to have at their disposable. There should be a parameter of delivery miles. So, guys, I say that because think about it. When you order Domino's or your Pizza Hut, uh, your favorite place, Little Caesars, whatever. Dom pizza places have been delivering forever. Chinese food. Been delivering since, I don't know, the 70s or 80s. When you try to order from Domino's or a China King or Hong's Walk, whatever, Pizza Hut. When you go in, you have to select a location, if there's multiple locations like Domino's, and you can't, it'll tell you too far, not in the delivery range. First time I've ever seen it, PetSmart, El Magway, not that, but you see how it says that on the bottom? It says this is a DoorDash Drive retail order. What that means is now with PetSmart, they used to like get them together for you, but now you can use your red card and shop at PetSmart. So 950 for two orders and I gotta do shopping and go eight miles. That is not a good offer, guys. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I, I don't mind using a red card, I use it probably 10 to 20 times a week, but not I'm not shopping and then doing all for, no, not doing so dead. Crap offers, some good dollar amounts, but uh far, 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 far. Some of those you've seen, some you haven't. I turned on the Uber Eats, it's on right now. I did. I turned off the ride share, just Uber Eats, and I've gotten a $2.50 offer, a $3 offer, a $4 offer, a $3 offer. A couple of them were only like two miles, but like for three bucks, I can't, I can't do that. So I expected some higher ones from Uber Eats because I hear that the payouts are better, but I'm not seeing it yet. 6.09, that might've been the longest I've had in a while with no good orders. I just accepted an $8 going three miles. Staying south, it is what it is. Chicago fish and chips or something. Uh, Chicago fish and steaks. It's one of those places. I don't know. Let's go. Chicago fish chicken grill. I'm sorry. Let's pull up. Hopefully there's nobody here. Oh, there's two cars here. This is not my night. The line doesn't move soon. I'm going to have to unassign. I know it's slow, but I don't want to take 30 minutes to make eight bucks. Decisions, decisions. Deuces, I'm out of here because I don't know if these are delivery drivers, if they still need to place the order, then they're gonna wait in there. I'm not about that life right now. Unassigned game strong. All right, I got two $6 tip, two $3 tips from Uber rideshare from earlier. So I just need to make like 25 bucks and I'll be done. Oh Lord. Burger King, no. $3, no. Woo, Kobe. So the bad thing when it gets slow like this and, you, and you're and you trying not to drive far or trying not to go to places, you're not making any money. I haven't made any money in an hour. I've made zero dollars in about 50 minutes. That is absolute garbage. That's really, really, really bad. I can count on one hand how many times that's happened to me. So I'm being patient, but now I'm getting a little desperate. And if anybody can relate, let me know in the comment section, but I'm not desperate enough to sit there and wait. All I need is a couple good orders and that can be done tonight. All right, guys, seven. we got a $7 order I picked up. Possible likelihood, 50% to get it stacked, firehouse subs. Not loving, not loving a drop off, but let's go. I need to make some money. I know this place is quick. That's part of my decision making behind that. I can trust them. 
likelihood of stackability 50 percent pretty high so hopefully they stack this and i can make this a combined 15 dollar order or so let's see pretty roses guys let's go and get this food Jesus. thanks <laughs> lucky lucky i know you guys saw that guy that i want to be his friend he's cool he was swag he was he was dressed up he's a doordash guy had like a like a probably a fake versace or gucci shirt he's nice matching shoes was dressed to the nines and very kind oh lord i want to be his friend i should ask for his number so if i didn't want to sign that eight dollar order i might still be there likelihood of that's pretty high and i'm going to be able to complete this one make one dollar less and be on my way to my next order versus still being on that first one all right guys i thought i might be able to catch an offer from around where i'm at going back home and really i did that drop off is maybe a mile from my house, but it's three dollars. I can't. If that was it, man, if that was like eight bucks. Actually, if that was like six bucks, I'm hopping on it because I'm going right back that way anyway. But I can't deliver. It's three bucks. All right, five bucks. One point seven miles. Let's dissect. Where's the drop off? So the drop off is actually in my. I'm gonna take that because it's dry out here tonight. They tip two bucks it's all day that arby's is super quick should be very easy and maybe after one more delivery after this and i'll be done for the night yeah that the lobby was closed but the night i gotta pick up for edin okay all right guys i don't love how the game it a shake the shake has no little sticker on it it's just the whipped cream, I mean, it's just there, like there's a opening, I don't love it, something could fall in there, or a piece of, I don't like it. I asked him, do you guys have a sticker I can put on top of here? No, we don't do that. Oh man, I don't like it at all. Hey, what's up, man? Dairy Queen, two orders, fifteen seventy-five. Ooh, that's a great amount. 9.4 miles, 14 items, man. One of the, I mean, that's a lot. But the issue is it's taking me northwest. I don't want to end. I could take it and then go all the way out there and I have to come all the way back. That is a no for me. We did it. Yes, sir. Arby's, River's Edge. I know both of those places. I was just at Arby's. River's Edge is on the way to Arby's. 13 bucks. The drop-offs are in my zone. Yes, sir. That's a great order. Hopefully one of them is not. Okay, it was 13. So they're both 650, both customers tip. Great way to end the night. Let's go. Got a little got a little lucky there. I love it though. Yeah, River's Edge is gonna be the first one. Then we're going to uh Arby's and then we're gonna go home in my area. This is a fantastic way. Those amounts, one of these could be a hidden tip. That amount's gonna put me right at about 200 bucks, and I'll be done for the day. You guys are unbelievable. Well, I'll do these pickups and drop-offs with you. We'll call it a night. Don't forget, bet on you seckles one day at a time. Don't forget to hit that sub button if you're not. Hit the thumbs up. Give me a comment. Remember what we talked about. Comment on what you think DoorDash could change that would help the customer, us, and DoorDash. Comment below. I will reply. Bring some bring some thoughts behind it, guys, all right? I'm going to go live tonight. So you guys are going to see this tomorrow or the next day, but we're going to go live tonight at 9 o'clock. So by then, that would have happened. But thank you for everybody that does, that does that. Listen, cheers. Have a great night. Make that money. Be kind. Thank you. Bye. Right, we've been here before. This used to be Johnny Gito's. It's like a bar club I used to go to. Now it's a restaurant. Guess who's back? Oh, they just, oh, seven. Oh, I gotta go to drive through but nobody in a drive through so no worries. So it seems like seven o'clock is the time in my area where the lobby's closed, man. Like it used to be nine, 10, 11. Not anymore, seven o'clock it is. Let's pull up, grab this food. Mm -hmm. 
Want to be an 850? Let's go. Last steps of the day. All right, guys, let's see if that winded up. Well, I know the first one was $2 more. Let's see about the second one. Complete delivery. I love the sounds of that. 718, end of my night. Good good timing, good good overall day. Definitely could have made more. I'd have had some bologna. All right, so that one wanted to be in 750, so 12, no, it was $13, right? So 13, went to 16. Great way to end my night, deuces.